Hello my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike360 here. I'm here to give you a new hike this week. We are here at Grand Kankakee Marsh County Park. Uh, we're here to do like a 7.1 mile hike. It takes us along the Kankakee River and then a little bit offshore, back. Uh, it's a double loop. And yeah, so this place is very common for fishing. There's people already out here fishing. Uh, he mentioned that you know you can catch a variety of different uh, fish, small amount, uh, small mouth and large mouth bass and pickerel and some other fish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's that. A couple different uh, water like drainage pipes that we're gonna pass that are apparently noteworthy. Um, hey, look at that. Good biking crew. Yeah. Well, that is a good biking crew. So, um, don't get confused. Don't cross the bridge at the beginning. You, you actually go down the highway farther. The other thing is this part of the Kankakee River is straight. It's been canaled and dug and manipulated like a oh, yeah. hundred years ago. And the author says, you know, just classic stuff. They did all that work to manipulate the river to gain more farming land and none of the crops grew. It's worthless farming land. It's, as he said in the book, it's too wet. Ca yeah, it catches fire in the summer and is uh, drowns, floods in the drowns in the winter. Or in the flooding season, <laughs> yeah. yeah, in the rain. So that was all for naught. Good job. Um, good job, humanity. Come on now. Um, so, you know, in Switzerland, like, all those rivers have been manipulated. And in the last 10 years, they're starting to do their best to try to return some of them to more of a natural. They're not going to take the straightness out, but they're trying to do their best to oxy oxygenate um, the water more and to make it more, more uh, shady areas, more uh, areas for fish and, and other types of sea creatures too. Uh, but I do like the fact that this is the fourth touch. So we're in Indiana, the Kankakee River starts kind of by South Bend and works its way over here. We're just off of Highway 65 and kind of halfway between Gary and Lafayette. This is definitely a long way away from Chicago. Yeah, second furthest. Yeah, um, so I'm hoping it's good and uh, we'll probably you know, really look at the, the touch between human and nature. So, mm -hmm. seven and a half miles. Let's get it done. Yeah, we've been walking along the river the whole way, and I think up here you start to see the break. There's a fork in the river. I wanted to show kind of these homes that are here along the river. Uh, nice place to be. You got a great place for a little boat dock, but. I'm not a big fan of the cinder block and the bricks being used as erosion control. I just think that looks pretty garbagey and takes <laughs> takes away from the beauty that you're. I would presume you're trying to achieve mm -hmm. by living at that location. Now maybe I'm wrong that the beauty is not in your in your calculations of living at that location. But if it's not, then why the hell are you doing this to the river? What's the purpose? Anyway, I don't, I don't like that mixed messaging. Yeah, it's a pretty aggressive way against erosion. But it seems to be the way. The way. Here, yeah. Here. Now we've been walking along this two track for, well, over three miles. It's a lot of like um, hunting posts. Lines, hunting blinds. Yeah. We've been having a big discussion on energy creation, hydropower, passive versus active safety controls, the solar. solar. It's been fun. Yeah. All right, so we're coming to, well, we're coming rapidly to the to the end of the river part portion, 
we'll spin around with a loop and then river and then another loop this is what this hike looks like oh, yeah. for still much going. of it it's still going yeah so talk to you tomorrow <laughs> this is the marsh part of grand kankakee marsh we're heading back towards the trailhead it's right next to the trail that runs along the Kankakee River. Just gotta round a corner and, uh, and you're there. And it's nice. Is there a bird called a, ma a, ma a mallow? I'm not sure. Why, why do you ask? Well, I'm wondering if the very first marsh mallows <laughs> were <laughs> caught and cooked and put with chocolate Interesting. <laughs> and graham cracker I think there's a bird called a peep yes that's right they turned it into a peep uh, I was thinking yeah I don't mean just anyway dad joke sorry <laughs> good speaking of marshmallows what are we eating today some delicious sandwiches We've got the sunflower butter and the strawberry banana, no, strawberry. Yeah, strawberry banana. Strawberry banana jelly. Uh-huh. It's so damn good. You wanted to say strawberry rhubarb, didn't you? No, I wanted to say banana. <laughs> Aren't but... you glad I didn't say banana? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really good. It's what I needed right now. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, huh? Well... We're three and a half miles in. So the last video we took is literally like 40 yards up that way, around the other side of the trees. This is a nice, easy, long walk. Yeah. I mean, we are in. Uh, down, I wouldn't call it downstate, I guess. I don't know. We're in the middle of Indiana. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't say it's easy, but well, there's no challenge. It's just distance. Be ready to walk seven miles. Yeah. So, in the middle of the sentence, the reason I paused and hesitated and up so much is that as I turned my head to the marshland here I tried to fit, think about how they would have tried to farm this oh great thought and I guess 150 200 years ago so much of this area was exactly this marsh and they were successful at farming a lot of it hmm. but not here and not at a oh, word we just went two weeks ago, that place down by Joliet, south of Joliet, um, where it's the, the cabin in the middle of it, and they had uh, Goose Prairie. Goose Prairie. That was a wet area. Was not successful in farming there. That was a cool hike. I, I mean, it was short, and I was in, I was injured, but that was a cool hike. Uh, yeah, Goose Prairie was worthwhile yeah cool things along that tra uh, trail and we are lucky today it's overcast it's about 70 degrees it's humid but thankfully it's overcast getting some good colors here i hope you guys are spinning around 360 and really getting a good view of this marsh Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to music along the way. Connectivity is strong out here. Good. That's not common. All right. Talk to you later. We're here to give you a 360 view. It's really nice. We're making our way from the river, Kankakee River, and the Kankakee Marsh to like a stream 
or a levee or yeah, a creek, I think it's a creek, uh, that we're gonna take back to the uh, trailhead. Lots of different paths here in between the creek and the the creek and the oh, river. Oh, the turtle disappeared. There was a turtle right here, and uh, I just I saw it. It just sort of well rewind. slowly went back into the oh. into the water. It wasn't like a startled jump, which is the only way that I've seen turtles get back in the water. Well, rewind, re rewind, and twist around, and you'll see it falling over there. Uh, the other cool thing we saw was a deer came out of nowhere, ran across the path, and just, just dove into the uh, the marsh to cross the marsh, and lots of splashes, and made its way across. Yeah, we got a river crossing. River crossing. So we're five miles in, two hours. Yeah. And we're definitely on our way back. I think we're two-thirds done. Yeah. About it. Maybe save save the rest of the video for the for the outro. Okay. Okay, so we're coming to the end of our hike at Grand Kankakee Marsh. And we're putting up about just under three hours. 7.5 miles. Uh, pretty lengthy. We talked about how the trail was pretty easy. Uh, but there, you know, you're putting up a lot of miles. The last two miles, though, on the um, creek side of this hike, you they don't keep it very well mowed, so the grass is as tall as your knees, and you're just sort of going through the thickets. So I pulled off three ticks like right as we started, and Dad's pulled off three ticks uh, from himself as well. And then you know, there's frogs jumping around. There's bugs flying around it was kind of aggravating and uh, or exciting or exciting but there really is no choice but to just keep going so we did and we are out of it now coming up on the trailhead coming up on our